the modern world today, we have an incredible imbalance of material goods. In Western countries, we have materials sitting in storage, in warehouses, whereas in places around Africa and Latin America and India and others, we have impoverished areas where people desperately need these materials. So we have an incredible need to better redistribute our, our resources. Shipping has an incredible role in addressing the material imbalance in today's society. Through shipping, we connect countries, we connect people, cultures, industry, various businesses. Most industries today are using some kind of shipping. Particularly since the global financial crisis, there are hundreds of container ships that are available. They're sitting in wet dock in various parts of the world and they're ready to move materials. Global Dialogue Foundation is a charitable trust organisation. We're an umbrella structure that encompasses all areas of day-to-day -day living such as family, health, culture, civilizations, ethnicity, science, research, technology, faith, religion, education, environment. Our vision is a balanced and progressive development for all humankind. Our purpose is to contribute to the creation of eternal peace, prosperity and harmony on the planet. And our mission, how we do that, is through various projects. One of them is Global Shipment, where we ship material goods to impoverished areas in support of improving human life conditions. We were fortunate to engage Eltham Primary School and Vermont Secondary College. APL Shipping Lines donated two 40-foot shipping containers which both schools received on their grounds and engaged their students to decorate. The Eltham Primary School container is headed to Ranthambore National Park in India in support of Tiger Watch's education program. The container is being converted into an educational centre to attract visitors from around India and from around the world in support of the Tiger Preservation Program. So the kids were rather excited to receive the container. It's really interesting, in, at the primary school, um, as soon as we positioned the container, it was almost, was started to be painted the following day almost. So the kids really got involved. Um, the teachers were out there working with the kids and it was pretty much for about three months, there was lots of interaction, there was lots of awareness being raised around how a community in Eltham can support a community in India. We're giving the opportunity for for a better, better future for like people in India. So our school has really helped India learn what, how to take care of their animals. The Indian people can go inside there and they can learn about all different things that they wouldn't know before. So it's a really great opportunity to, to see all the animals that we don't know about. So we're at Eltham Primary School and we're just about to pick the container up, put it on the truck to deliver to Collingwood Children's Farm. The feedback at the school has been incredible. The kids are excited and they're very, very keen to see the project continue to grow. So when the container was completed at Eltham Primary School, it was then moved to Collingwood Children's Farm, which is visited by at least three or four schools each day. And the purpose for that was to raise awareness around the project as attracting schools to this particular initiative. So engaging schools to adopt the sanctuary and, and then the school engaging its, its community to provide it, to support it with providing materials and so on. The container delivered to Vermont Secondary College is on its way to the slums in India as a medical container on wheels. In these areas, there are people dying from very, very basic medical issues. So what we understand from working with our partners in India, Sage Foundation, is that basic medical equipment can save many, many lives. So with that in mind, Vermont Secondary College initially took a clump of metal, a container, and by the end of the project it became a very exciting initiative where they realised how valuable their effort and their time is 
uh, working on this container and and it's interesting how they're wondering how they can engage more schools in the project and how we can engage more villages in providing medical support. And hopefully one day this can turn into like a national project and help out lots of kids like kids and um, sick people all over the world. Just help as much as you can it's a really good feeling to know that some, the people over there are going to know that someone actually cares. It's the beginning of, I think, a big project that's going to be coming in. I reckon a lot more schools should be getting involved, um, a lot more containers out there. Everyone can chip in. Um, I think it's great. It's given us an opportunity to help people that we haven't met, but still give us satisfaction that we've actually helped some other people around the world that are less fortunate than us. The progress with the two containers that started at Eltham and at Vermont Schools in Melbourne is now in the hands of Indian Customs through dialogue with the partners in India. Uh, we're establishing exactly what materials that they require and what materials are acceptable for Indian Customs so that they travel through as duty-free items. And we anticipate loading those containers by the end of January or early February for shipping. During September this year, we displayed, we organised to have the containers part of an exhibition called Windows of the World at Federation Square. And the containers become a feature, they were displayed down on the river terrace at Federation Square along the, uh, along the river. And the purpose was to, to raise awareness around Australia moving forward on this project that sees support to impoverished areas around the world. So in a world that is in peril and a billion people are hungry and we have impoverished areas becoming worse, global shipment arrives at a time where we can raise the level of responsibility, establish warehouse facilities in each of the developed countries, engage schools, engage communities, engage police programs, where we engage communities in sourcing materials that will be shipped to impoverished areas not only locally but internationally. What would it look like if we could engage between 100 and 200 container ships and fill places such as India and Africa and Latin America with materials that they need? Toilets, plumbing systems, improve sanitation, reduce the level of illness, reduce the levels of mortality. What might this world look like? What could be possible through shifting materials around the planet so that we can peacefully become more humane?